Welcome to Drotech Australia and New Zealand. My name is Emmanuel Plago and in this video I will demonstrate the WAN aggregation feature that is available in Drotech routers. WAN aggregation allows multiple WAN connections which can be ADSL, VDSL, Ethernet WAN or 3G and 4G to be aggregated. This will essentially increase your internet speeds by utilizing the session based load balance feature in the router. WAN aggregation is supported in dual WAN and multi RAN routers. Now if you have a look at this table, you can see the different routers which support WAN aggregation. WAN aggregation is useful for businesses that need higher internet speeds to provide users with sufficient WAN speed. For example, if you manage a hotel or own a cafe and provide free or paid Wi-Fi hotspots, and your internet capacity is only limited to the ADSL speed at your location. Now, before showing you the configuration steps in the router, I will demonstrate the WAN aggregation feature using two connections from two different service providers. WAN 1 is using an ADSL connection, while WAN 2 is connected to 4G. First, we'll run WAN 1 with the ADSL connection by itself. Our download speed is 23.38 megabits per second. Now, we will run the same test but with just WAN 2 connected. The download speed is 6.28 megabits per second, while the upload speed is 7.32 megabits per second. Now we're going to do the final test where we test the combined speed of WAN 1 and WAN 2 together. As you can see, the total download speed is 30 0.23 megabits per second and there is an upload speed of 8.89 megabits per second. This result is the combined total of the WAN 1 speed and the WAN 2 speed. Now let's move on to configuration. To configure Draytech OS routers for WAN aggregation, first log into your router. If you don't know how to log into your router, click here to view one of our previous videos on how to do so. Now, ensure that both your WAN connections are properly set up. Click on the WAN function on the user interface and click on General Setup. Now, there should be a drop down tab that says IP based. Click on this tab and change it to Session based. After this, select OK and give it a moment to save the configuration. Now, let's move on to the configuration of Draytech routers such as the Vigor 2960, the Vigor 300B, and the Vigor 3900. Once you have logged into your Linux based router, go to the routing tab and select the default routing configuration tab. Click on the drop down tab on load balance mode and select session based. Now click apply and give it a moment to save the configuration. Now after all of this, you can see how easy it is to configure your Draytech router to enable WAN aggregation. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website at www.draytech.com.au or send an email to you sales at jtech.com.au